significance of having SIPA at the United Nations at this time to reach the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030 and beyond, perhaps? I think it's a very important decision of SIFA to make uh, this forum in New York and at the UN. Uh, we are living in a very difficult period of, uh, of the implementation of the Agenda 2030. Too many obstacles, no, too many obstacles, too many problems uh, in the implementation, but uh, at the same time, there is possibilities to go ahead. No? That's why I think to have this change of ideas between the financial advisors, the independent financial advisors, and people from the United uh, Nations, and especially the members of the Group of 77, I think it's a good alliance to find ways and means to go through, and to because we have only 11 years of the deadline for the implementation of the Agenda 2030, and that's a big challenge for all for everybody. Uh, in terms of CIFA, what do you hope that this specific this year, this specific forum will achieve at the end of the two days? Yeah, I think that the most important thing is to identify where are the obstacles uh, that doesn't allow the flow the, the flow of, of capitals no, for the implementation of the agenda then we will we will try to find exactly what where the problems are uh, who the main obstacles are no, in matters of taxation in matters of the implementation of policies uh, from the states uh, policies of trade policies of taxes uh, and then identify exactly where the problems are in order to negotiate and see how we can arrive to a common point and to go ahead and to permit you know, that, uh, that uh, private, private financial for the SGDs will come. Uh, we know that we have problems with governments, you know? well, especially is the question of uh, the new government in the United States. I mean, was the administration of President Trump who decided to, 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 to not uh, follow what was decided in the Addis Abeba uh, agreement, uh, the same thing for climate change, and then we have to see alternatives. I mean, we cannot depend only of the will of one government, of the will of, uh, of, of, of one point of view, but uh, there is alternatives and that's what will come from this meeting, I hope. Right, it's, it's very interesting because the United States right now uh, with the Republican Party says that it doesn't want big government and it wants less regulation. But when it comes to a multinational setting, uh, it doesn't abide by international laws and regulations sometimes when it comes to these multilateral uh, agreements. Are there more countries like the United States right now or more countries that are willing to come and cooperate with CIFA and other NGOs and the private sector to get the wheels moving? You know, the question of the Agenda 2030, it's a, a unique opportunity for the future of the world. Then I think that's, uh, that's the understanding of most of governments of the world and even in the United States, even the central government is now, because of his particular view of multilateralism, or his particular view of American first, no? that's a view that's not shared by the people of the United States. You know what's going on in local governments in the United States. Then, if it's not possible to work with the central government for the time being, I mean, there is many alternatives. Local governments want to engage in the process. Uh, civil uh, organizations, NGOs, NGOs, uh, private sector, and that's what we will do. I mean, we will see alternatives, we will see new challenges, but uh, humanity, mankind, cannot uh, lose this opportunity to follow an agenda that was uh, negotiated in a long time and it's a very comprehensive program that was uh, unique 
uh, different from the programs for development that was adopted before by United Nations. That's uh, with all the experiences of the last, because since the inception of the UN, development was one of the objectives. But all the plans uh, failed uh, because of several things. And that experience, that negative experience from the past, uh, helped to create the present uh, agenda, which uh, truly uh, uh, very new, with new ideas. Uh, it's comprehensive, and I think that's the solution that we will follow.